We're here at the free speech counter protest to our please respect us as human beings protest that we put on last week um, at Sid Smith Hall. Um, and uh, tell us what's happened so far, Wesley. Um, okay, well, uh, to be clear, I showed up somewhat late to this event. I showed up about halfway As did through. I, I just got here. Oh. <laughs> um, what we had was over there, um, the, uh, right outside the doors, um, the, uh, the Rally for Free Speech, as they called themselves, had set up um, a, a microphone and sound system. Um, just by um, close by, we had set, excuse me, uh, prior to my arrival, we had set up um, our own sound system. We were, blast, we were blasting first noise, as I understand it, um, in an effort to basically to create a sonic disruption, which is a tactic that I've seen used effectively before. Um, not um, <laughs> and um, and it seemed that used effectively before. I'd say it was mostly effective here, aside from some. I believe that the equipment was damaged by um, one of the Nazis who showed up. There were, as I understand it, there were neo Nazis and white supremacists who showed up. I believe that some of them may have. Uh, I believe that most of them were gone by the time I arrived. I didn't see any. Um, however, um, now what happened was. Um, uh, Towards the end, as things were getting aggressive and um, swords were starting to break out, I got up on the table over there and I took and I and they gave me their microphone um, and I um, and I talked about how uh, basically what I told Jack Denton um, was was what I said was that none of this is unexpected or new or unique. This was um, the same sorts of things we saw during the AIDS crisis, during the civil rights movement, um, during uh, the entire history of, of various groups fight for the vote. Um, it's not new, it's not unique. In fact, it's expected, and we're expecting that it will probably continue for years. So what were you saying about the mic equipment and Peterson fucking with the sound equipment? No, Peterson didn't do anything with the sound equipment. Um, we believe, I heard, and I need to confirm this with Cass because this happened before I arrived, but I believe that our sound equipment was damaged. Um, Cass... Yeah, they, they broke two aux cords, apparently. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. Um, but yeah, and um, now, as I was talking, our power was cut off, which I believe is because somebody inside pulled the fire alarm. Um, I don't know who that was. I don't know who they were with. But the fire alarm got pulled. Fire department showed up. The power was cut off. Um... After a few moments of just standing up there silently, um, I was, uh, I stepped down. I understand that it was desired that I step down at that point, so that's what I did. Um, after that, I believe um, the police tried to uh, set, settle and disperse the event because physical altercations were breaking out. Um, the drunk man with the dogs and his, I believe he said his wife, um, got into a scuffle with, I believe it was Aaron. Um, oh yeah, Aaron said that they'd said some really fucking horrible shit to Yeah, her. Aaron was, Aaron was very, was like harassed and basically queer bashed. Oh um, yeah, no, and essentially queer bashed and trans bashed and, and um, it was awful. And in response, um, there was a, there was an altercation and the possession of that woman's phone became, uh, the, the woman was yelling, the possession of her phone became unknown is what I would say. I don't know where that phone is now. Um, People are thinking that we stole it, but we definitely fucking didn't. And we were, and, and then um, over, just over there by those doors, um, because the, the, the BLC was trying to leave because they were being um, subjected to some very unsafe things. Um, they, and uh, my gratitude to them for, for coming out, actually they, uh, they broke off their protest of Yutsu to come and stand with some people, with, with, with us and indeed some people from Yutsu. So um, solidarity does work. Um, solidarity is not dead, um, and I do want my gratitude on that to be known. Um, <laughs> I understand that we can have many issues, but um, but that there is uh, a unity among those of us who are oppressed peoples, and that was very inspiring to see. Um, because I, I had feared that this might not happen. Uh, clearly those fears were unfounded, um, and I'm very, very grateful. I don't have a lot of recording time left, so whatever. Sorry, shit. No, okay, okay, so I was over there by those doors, and... Um, there was an altercation going on between the BLC and people who were yelling racist things at them. Things like, you should be like Michael Brown, there should be a thousand Michael Browns to, to, the, to the BLC. Um, and, uh, and in the midst of that scrum, uh, 
my sister and I believe Yusuf Kagali or other people from DLC went inside. Lauren Southern and her cameraman followed them, and I immediately followed Lauren Southern and the cameraman because, um, well, because my sister was going in there. And um, as I tried to enter the building, the guy, the drunk guy with the dogs, slammed the door on my body um, and tried to, and, and, and like very, and like very aggressive, very. He, he was very angry about something, and he slammed the door on me while, dra while, while dragging his dogs along with him, I might add. I, someone who I believe might have been Jack, um, I think tried to rescue the dogs from the altercation. Um, I made it through. I'm not harmed. Um, I just follow, like They followed uh, Cassidy through the building and out there. I just followed them. Um, Lauren basically called an end to the event over there on that table. Um, it was just like, yay, freedom of speech and all that. And thank you for everyone. And after they dispersed, I jumped up on the table and I uh, and I let a few brief chants. And then I stepped down and we then continued to disperse. And that's what, that's what I saw and that's what I did. Um, and I'm sort of limited by that perspective. But from my point of view, that's what happened. Apparently the, the neo-Nazi was, was ejected from the event. Um, by cops, that's what Cass told me. Okay, um, that makes sense. I might speak to Cass about this as well because yeah. I want to post this on YouTube. Um, but yeah, if that's everything that we have to say, okay, um, okay. signing off.